Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. So I need to get my Februarys out, then I'm going to go back to the weeklies, but I like to do, I try to do them a month ahead of time, the, um, the monthlies, so we can have a preview of what's to come. So what do we have for Libra for the month of February. Now keep in mind that it could happen at any time in February and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for an overall energy for the sign of Libra? One card please. That was more than one so we're not going to take it. What do we have for Libra? One card, please. Three of Pentacles. So this is working together. It's teamwork. It's, you know, working as a team with somebody. Okay, so this is, uh, it looks like you're going to be collaborating with other people, working with other people. You may, there could be some, uh, you know, going back and forth, talking, making plans. This is people that you work well with. So you're going to be working very well with, with more than one person. And it's interesting because a few cards, a few fell out. You know, a few fell, so a few. You're going to be working with many people this month. Um... It looks good. Whoever you're going to be working with, I mean, look at, we have a thumbs up here. Everybody's working together quite well, uh, accomplishing something. So there's some sort of accomplishment here. Uh, something is going on where you are, um, you're working with a team and, and it's going very, very, very well. There's, there's definitely some collaboration going on. Um, smooth this is operating very smoothly things going smoothly so something's going to go very smoothly it may have to do with your job or maybe it's even new people if it has to do with a new job or something i feel like it is new but i, I do feel like it's things going very very smoothly whatever it is a lot of good communication going back and forth what do we have for Libra? One more, please. Mmm. Teardrops. Great personal sorrow. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Tent, temporary situation. April is very significant. You know, it's the blossom. So things are going to get better by April. And I know April may seem like it's a fuss far away, but it's really not. Time flies. You're in some sort of temporary, temporary situation right now. Your intuition can guide you. You may be experiencing some tempor some temporary sorrow. You know, there's great personal sorrow. There's tears here. You may be having some tears over a temporary situation. But this is things getting better, smoothing out. Um, yeah. Beneficial changes. Something is changing for the better. You may be in a temporary situation right now, but things are about to get better. Things are going to go very, very, very smoothly, you know, very soon, okay? Um, and if you think about, if you think about three months, three months would be April. So if, if you're going through a temporary situation where, you know, you're in some state of sorrow, it's not going to last, okay? It's not. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith can bring you romance. So you, look at that statue, that's interesting. 
Um, but anyhow, you have to stay positive. Think positive. Don't let your negative thoughts about love or about happiness get in the way. Because I feel like there's some sort of happiness that is coming. Okay? Um, what do we have for Libra? Your sadness is, is temporary. It's not going to last. Mm, seven of Swords reversed. And the Six of Cups. So if this is focusing on the past. Looking back at the past. So it feels like you're, you're reminiscing. You're reminiscing about some sort of betrayal or some sort of heartache, you know, or some sort of deceit or deception or something like that. Uh, this is memories, okay, memories of of the past. So, yeah, you're going to be, and that's where the sorrow comes. I feel like there's a lot of memories, a lot of reminiscing. This is making a getaway, perhaps, Um you keep on looking back at the past. You need to focus on the future. You need to let go. You need to find a new approach. I think there's been some sort of unworkable plan with somebody in the past. And I feel like you need to really focus on the future. Seven of Swords reversed. You have to be careful when you get to Seven of Swords reversed. You do. You have to be careful. Be careful with where you, what you're looking at, okay? Be careful with your thoughts. Now, there's there, the seven, seven of Swords. I'm not sure if this, some, something is coming back around. Maybe there's somebody from the past that is coming back around that cheated you, that lied to you, that deceived you. I really feel like you need to be careful. There's, this is like, I feel like there's some sort of dishonesty here. Uh, huh. What is this Seven of Swords reversed? Magician, deceit, deception, uh, lies, lies, lies. Somebody's been lying, but they're going to get caught, getting caught in a lie. There's somebody who hasn't been telling the truth. You're dealing, this is both very, very cunning. Both of these cards, we have a very cunning individual here that is, I don't know if somebody's breaking the law even. You know, the, both of these cards can signify somebody who feels that they are above the law. They can do whatever they want, you know. But that Three of Pentacles is working together, working as a team, uh, I'm not sure if somebody is doing something without thinking. This could be negative thinking as well. I do feel like there's a lot of negative thinking here. Somebody is like getting away with something or they're trying to get away with something. There's manipulation. So, so there's some sort of manipulation here. Somebody's trying to manipulate or they are manipulating. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Gemini. King of Pentacles, reverse. This is somebody that is insecure. Very controlling energy. So we have somebody here that... I don't know if we're dealing with a narcissist or what. Somebody that is very controlling, trying to stop somebody from doing something. This is somebody who is, there's like illegal, doing something illegal and getting caught. So I don't know if there's somebody in your world that is getting caught doing something illegal. This may be somebody from your past. This is somebody that is unfaithful, they are ruthless, they lie, they lie a lot. You're dealing with somebody who lies a lot. They're very, very manipulative and controlling. And they're sneaky, very, very sneaky. This is a trickster, so you have a trickster around you. This is somebody that you definitely know. This is somebody from your past. It's a masculine energy. It is somebody that I feel like it's a very masculine energy. Ooh, 
Eight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles again. So this is oh, teamwork, working together. So I'm not sure what is going on. I don't know if somebody's going to get caught and they end up in jail. Somebody could end up in jail. I don't know who it is. Uh, you know, they could they handcuffs. And I don't use I don't say that often, but I feel like they could. But this is trapped, trapped, mental turmoil, not seeing that there's a way out. There is a way out. We have somebody here that is not in a positive mindset. They're struggling. Maybe they're struggling with a third party situation. Because we have these threes here. Somebody is really, really, really struggling. They are suffering. They are uh, needing to... face their fears and step out of a situation, but they can't. They can't do it because uh, some sort of victim mentality here. We have somebody that has a victim mentality. And they need to reevaluate. They need to reevaluate their thoughts. Don't let your thoughts keep you in some sort of prison as well. Somebody may be in a mental prison, you know, but they can get out of it. They, but they have to be practical. There's lack of, lack of practicality here. Lack of realism. Deception. Could be, because the magician's about self. Deception. There's self-deception here. Don't let your thoughts of the past hold you back from cooperating and creating something better. Okay? I feel like there is smooth sailing ahead if you you know, cooperate with other people. I feel like you have other people here that can help you, that you can work with. But you, you, you obviously, the magician's about letting go of the old and bringing the new, but this is reverse. Somebody is really holding on to something that they need to let go of and it's causing them to be trapped in a situation that is unhealthy. It's unhealthy, it's all your own thoughts. So there is an opportunity to work with other people. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of work. But you can't keep looking back at the past and letting it keep you stuck. It's time for you to step into, you know, un unknown territory, right? And and think positive about the future. You 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 have an opportunity for uh to build the foundation, okay? To build the foundation that could go very, very smoothly and uh, break you free from whatever it is that you're stuck in. But there's so much thinking about the past or your childhood or, or the past relationship that I feel like you're having a hard time releasing. You're a hard time having a hard time breaking free. From something you definitely have an unexpected opportunity here this is a choice this is a card of consequences and it is a card of choice so when you get a lover's card it's like you have to make a major choice about a contract okay you have an opportunity for a healing love a new connection where you will be in alignment with another person but you have to choose that path this is always a choice so you have a, you have a choice here you can choose to uh keep looking back at and reminiscing about something and keeping yourself stuck or you can choose you know, something that is more aligned with you. So you have something that is more aligned with you. You do. But it's it's going it's it's going to take uh, well, teamwork. It's going to take you opening up and learning new things and doing things that you haven't done before, and maybe even taking advice from others and working with others. So this is a month where you need to work with others, and maybe you need to. I don't know, maybe you need to stop, because this is a no, and communication. Stop communicating with the past, you know, or stop looking back at the past. Stop deceiving yourself in some way. I feel like there's a lack of, of knowledge here, no offense or anything. It's like, and blocking it, blocking the truth, you know. I feel like, I also, I also feel like you guys have 
let somebody from the past control you. You've let them, they, you have. This is a master manipulator. You're dealing with a master manipulator that has cheated on you or deceived you and you've let them. You've let them control your thoughts. You know, it's kind of like a narcissist energy. I feel like you, you will have an opportunity this month to um, heal because this is a healing love. It's a healing love to heal from this individual that betrayed you if you choose to go down that path. But it, again, that's it's definitely going to be your choice. So, hmm. Ooh, King of Wands reverse. Now that's not taking any action. Upset, angry, controlling. Control. There's a lot of control here. Control, control, control. Control. So somebody is really, really, I mean, this is powerless. Fe loss of power. Loss of resources. It feels like you've, you've given your power away to somebody else. You need to take your power back. You need to take control. You need to find your confidence and your determination and your willpower to break free from this prison, this, this situation that you have been trapped in. You're trapped in a situation. I feel like you're dealing with a very controlling individual that has kept you trapped and you may be oblivious to it. You know, it's the blindfold. You may not even see it. You may not. You may not even see it. So I feel like that's... Uh, you need to be careful. You need to open your eyes. You need to be aware. You need to take action right now and break yourself free from a situ from somebody else's control. That's what I see. You have other people that you could be working with right now. I feel like you 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 have an opportunity that you are missing because the magician reverse is missing an opportunity, a golden opportunity, and it's right here. It's right in your hands. You have a golden opportunity to, you know, collaborate, communicate, work with people or somebody else that actually respects you. Whoever whoever you were dealing with in the past was emotionally unavailable and they didn't have good intentions. There's two-faced, two-faced with that Seven of Swords reverse and the Magician reverse. We have a two-faced individual here um, that lies a lot and there's a higher power involved. You have a higher power involved that is trying to get, guide you because this is about guidance. You're try, They're trying to guide you. They are. You have to believe. You have to have faith. You're, you, you're, you're being guided to, I feel like, let go of this betrayal, judgment, make a decision, truth, the truth, accept and allow and release. That is what judgment is. Judgment is, you think about judgment day. What is judgment? Now let's get to reality here because we have somebody who hasn't been living in reality. In reality, underneath the judgment card, is about accepting the truth, seeing the truth, releasing the past. This is the card of the past. It's about releasing the past, forgiving, and it's the end of things. It's the end of a trial. It's the end of a life lesson. It is. Judgment Day is the end. It's time to live again. You have an opportunity for a new life, put it that way. At the end of Judgment Day is a new life. There's a higher power, which would be God. You think about Judgment Day. You make a contract. We have the contract with the... Uh, with the uh, lover's card you make a contract with god but when the contract is over it's over it's done it's time to move on anyhow i feel like you uh 
will be making a life-changing decision this month. You are being guided to do so. You will be receiving some messages from above. There could be even somebody that has passed away. This is somebody that has passed away that is guiding you. Somebody that has passed away that is guiding you to work with somebody else. If you're looking for a job, you haven't been able to find a job, you'll probably find a job this month. Um, whatever's going on, you are being guided to end a situation, accept and allow, and start your new life. Because that's what this is. Start your new life. So this is an awakening. It's an epiphany. It's a wake-up call. I do believe there's been some sort of self-deception. There's been denial. There's been uh, lacking... Uh, a loss of power you've given your power away and that's why the higher power the higher power is here to guide you to see and accept the truth about a situation so some sort of truth there's going to be a, a final decision that is made this month and it does have to do with the past it's about releasing some of you have an opportunity for a new commitment that is, it's it's like this new commitment. It's it's going. It can bring you people that you actually jive with. You know, these people are easy to work with. There's mutual respect. There's going to be some sort of revelation or reveal. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed that shows you something. You're going to be shown something that you have been in denial about. It may have something to do with a father. And maybe it's the, I don't know if a father for some of you has passed away because this is a father. Um, something is going to change your life. This is life changing, the judgment card is. It's the end of things. So there's a life-changing moment that may bring you sorrow, but you must accept. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of reminiscing about the past as you release. There could be anger. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I do see you uh, struggling to break free. You need to find your strength. Now, this is about healing, and this one is too. So you're gonna you're healing. You're gonna be going through a period of healing. You have been as well healing from the past. This month, you will be working with new people. You will, it's almost like you find a new tribe or, a, or new people. Okay, there's definitely new people here. There's going to be, I do think we have a new beginning. Because after endings, which judgment is, we have a new beginning. Guided, okay? So you do have a new beginning here. Um, yeah. Whew. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the death of something. It is the death of something. So this is the end. It is the end of a painful experience. It is the end of suffering. This is the death of a situation. It's over. It's over. So something significant is ending. You, this is liberation. You're free. So I feel like this month, I feel like this temporary sorrow that you're going through with the tent and the teardrops card over here. You know, it's it's all going to, uh, you're going to heal from it. You're going to heal from it. Um, we have somebody here that has been trapped in a situation that they were fearful to break free from. 
They were unable to take action. They in, Impulsive action could be happening now. Okay, with these two cards reversed, something could happen. Somebody could be making a getaway. It could be sneaking away. They could be making an escape even, you know, with a seven of swords reversed. That's like leaving when nobody is looking, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's almost like running away, running away in the middle of the night, something like that. Um. And I don't know where middle of the night came from, but anyhow, uh, this is a month of divinely guided change, put it that way, divinely guided need to accept that something is over. So you're going to be receiving a wake up call of some sort or an epiphany or something like that, that I feel like it, it's, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. The suffering is over. It's time to live. I also have a golden opportunity waiting for you. You may be getting some money and in, or some sort of prosperity. Um, there could be a new job. You could be starting a new business, a windfall. This could be... Um, and a new investment, a gift, a inheritance, something like that. So this is this is gaining some sort of financial security. That's what that is something that is coming for you as well. So I feel like this is a month of releasing something. Now, judgment is about truths being revealed, karma. It's the end of things. So definitely it is. It is definitely, definitely, definitely the end of things. It's the end of the trial, right? If judgment, if you think about a trial, you think about court. It's, it's time for the verdict. It's time for, you know, the sentence. And I'm not saying you're going to be sentenced to anything, but this is accepting whatever happens and allowing, accepting the truth and seeing the truth. So anyway, this month there is going to be a major life change, which does involve the end of a painful situation. You may also hear, I mean, this could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is the truth, hearing the truth about an individual getting into a commitment. Somebody could be getting married. That could be the case as well. Some sort of truth, and it's painful, because this was a painful truth, is being accepted. And it's out of your control. And it's been out of your control for a long time. So anyway, I feel like this is a month of you needing to get together with other people. Work with other people. And release. Good luck.